everyone, my name is Heather Barham. I work for Bristol City Council in the Community Development Unit. Here I am in the heart of Pembridge, outside the Old Crow Inn. But I'm going to just talk you through some of the things I've been doing over the past few weeks um, around the Hembury strand of work, which is looking at intergenerational work, um, to gather some ideas for the bid. Um, here I am outside Hembury Library, which is in a state of disrepair at the moment. It's currently being refurbished and the librarians have moved over to the youth centre. However, I've been to see them. Obviously, the library is a centre for all things IT. In the refurbishment, they'll be having a new plasma screen, so it's the ideal spot for showing community films. Um, they also have some old resources that I think could be digitalised. They've got a, an oral history project from 1990. Some of the older people from Henbury took part and clearly by now some of those people will have died. It would be great if we could put that resource, which is mainly taped history and photographs, into a, a digital format so more people can see it. This is the John Milton Clinic, one of the health centres in Henbury. This is also actually shutting down and being refurbished. I've been to visit their health visitor who works with elderly people, Alison Williams, and she told me they're setting up a new patients forum. There's a number of um, patients who are housebound and she was wondering about the idea of setting up portable webcams so they can take part in the meetings. Here we are on Barnard's Park. This is one of Henbury's many open spaces. We're quite blessed in that respect. Um, and around we've got um, local authority housing. Some of that's been bought by local people. Um, a number of neighbourhood watch schemes in this area, local people are very engaged in Neighbourhood Watch. I've been to visit the coordinator for the north of Bristol, Wendy Hull. She was telling me one thing that would make the police's job easier is if coordinators were actually using email. Quite a lot of coordinators are elderly people who don't own computers. If there could be some training and they could have access to IT equipment, it would make the police's job far easier. Do you like how jazzy bins? This was part of our intergenerational summer project where we brought young people from the Youth Inclusion Project together with some older members of the community just to brighten up Crow Lane which is the heart of Henbury where we are today. We've got a Christmas event on the 18th of December which we're going to film. We're going to get a group of younger people and older residents together to film the Christmas crackers extravaganza on Crow Lane um, and hopefully that will show you how we're working together, bringing some of the older and younger communities of Henbury together. The young people of Henbury, as I say, are quite blessed with open spaces. This area here is um, going to be redeveloped within the next three months into a new skate park facility. Of course, something, a facility like that, um, does divide the community. There has been quite a lot of opposition from older members of the community. What we'd like to do um, through Digital Challenge is make a film about the lead up to the skate park being put in through from two different perspectives, from the young person's perspective who would be using it and from an older person's perspective who feels that it's going to negatively impact on their quality of life. Hopefully we'll be able to show the film at the opening of the facility and it will show that balanced view and it also give a greater understanding of how we're all part of a community and we have to learn to live together and take on board other people's passions and interests. I've been to see Claire Bradford who's the headmistress over at Henbury School. Um, she's really interested in the project and would like to get involved. She's given me free reign of six young people who are going to take part in putting together some information onto a, a new website. Um, we think it's going to be called How To Henbury or How To Bristol and it's going to be young people um, giving information on how to do certain things that they're really good at. It might be setting up their own email account, it might be downloading photographs onto the web. However, to make it a full community resource we're also asking five older people to talk to us about something that they're an expert in so they can share their ideas as well. I'm in the uh, community room now at Brookbridge House which is one of the multi-storey flats on Crow Lane. 
Um, mostly older people who live here. Um, last week I went to visit um, a similar setup in Redfield. Um, I met Ronnie Corbett, uh, not the Ronnie Corbett, another one. Very nice chap who is the warden of the Princess Royal Gardens. He has set up their community room, which is similar to this, probably a bit bigger, with um, 12 computers for residents to be able to access the internet. It's a fantastic resource. I also met Steve from Bristol Wireless there, and we were talking about how we could replicate something like this here in Hembury. I think the key really though, is to make sure there's somebody on site, like Ronnie, um, who's able to help residents access the computers. If, if they've got any difficulties or issues, what I've been finding since I've been going around speaking to people in Hembury about the digital challenge is people think it's a great idea, but they're a bit, they're a bit scared, they're a bit wary about it, particularly older people. Okay, I'd like to sum up by saying that the digital challenge bit for me over the past three weeks has been so exciting. It's been such a fantastic tool for me as a community worker to be able to introduce some new ideas to the people that I'm working with. And really I see that that's the benefit of the digital challenge project. It's a tool for engaging local residents all across Bristol. It's a way of engaging different communities that we might find it hard to reach in normal circumstances. But I'd, I'd like to emphasise again that in order to make this work, it's not about fantastic swanky technology, it's about the means and the resources to enable people to engage. So it may be hand-holding, it may be people going out and explaining things to people in non-threatening language, um, just so they feel, yes, this is something for me and I can get involved. Uh, myself, all the communities of Bristol and across Bristol. Let the digital challenge begin. <laughs>